It's worth mentioning at this point that you probably wouldn't want to take the bit of audio out of your project uh, to do this because you'd need to refer to the, uh, the whole project to see if your take is in tune and in time. But I've just done this for convenience sake. So before you actually do any comping, you want to go through your takes and decide what's good and what's bad. And it's probably worth having a pen and paper handy so you can make a note of good and bad takes. I've got seven takes here to listen to, and that's not too bad. But if you've gone through the uh, the loop, you know, several times, you might have 20 plus takes to sift through, and it's a bit hard to remember. So pen and paper is a really good idea. And you might want to relabel the takes with more meaningful names. And if you want to relabel a take, you want to simplify it. This one says lead vocal DT. 4931281 take one okay it says that because obviously lead vocal dt was the, the name of the original uh, track double track of a lead vocal i did 4931281 is where the clip started to be recorded from and obviously it was the first take that i did if you double click that just call it if you like and uh, take one and that simplifies it uh, so we'll go through and do that to all of these. So all my takes have now got a nice neat name, take one, take two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, and what we're gonna do, we're gonna go through the takes and decide what we want to keep. Now, straight away, I'm gonna select take five and I'm gonna press the shift key and I'm going to uh, select take four. So take four and five are both selected. I can see they're empty apart from this little breath at the end, I'm gonna press delete. And now uh, I've only got to choose between one, two, three, six, and seven. Now, if I look at take one, click on that, I see straight away there's a problem at the end. If I press the single take button and just press play. Deep in the ocean or out into... No. And here I said no to myself because I could hear I'd gone wrong. So pretty obviously uh, that's when I can delete. It's probably worth listening to the beginning of that. Deep in the ocean or out in... It's not too bad, but I happen to know I've got some better takes. So again, I can just tidy things up, press delete, and now I'm down to tracks two, three, six, and seven. Now, let's have a listen to take two. To space. Deep in the ocean or out into space. And there's a sharp bit in the middle of that, which I don't like. And I'm not very happy with that. I'm going to delete that. Let's listen to take three, reducing my chances here, aren't I? Deep in the ocean or out into space. I don't like the way I separated the words in that one, so I am going to delete that one as well. So now my composite can only be made up of take six or take seven. I've been a bit drastic here, just to keep it very, very simple. Now, you can't do any cutting up, or if you like comping, with these single take mode buttons on if I uh, press the R key on my computer keyboard uh, and click, see there's no there's no razor blade coming out. And in fact, all I've done is I've moved that bit of audio, which I don't want to do, so I'm going to undo that. So I'm going to make sure that none of these buttons are on. And now you see my razor blades come up because I pressed letter R uh, just before that. So I'm going to press Q, it's my normal select tool. So basically, I'm now ready to listen to take six and seven and decide what I want to keep. So let's listen to take seven, first of all. Deep in the ocean or out into space. Now I like, I like deep in the ocean, but I don't like out into space. Let's listen to take six. Deep in the ocean or out into space. And out into space I quite like. I've got a bit of sibilance on the word space, but um, this is just a worked example, you know, so just to give you a general idea. So basically, I want the first part of take seven and the second part of take six. So I'm going to click this uh, single take mode button so it's not on. I'm going to press the letter R on the computer keyboard. And now I've got my razor blade. Now I'm going to go right to the beginning of take seven. I'm going to drag along. As I do so, and I let go, you'll see that that first part of take seven is now highlighted. You'll see that I've got two cut handles here and here. And uh, I've got like a focused area here, which I'll talk about in a moment. Now, if I just 
drag that and see I can get show more and more and more of take seven, but I, I haven't got anything on take six. So I'm going to get my razor blade and I'm going to drag along take six to the end here. Now, I'm going to play this from the beginning. It won't be right. Deep in the ocean or out into space. Deep in the ocean or out. I'm jumping to take six too early. Now I'm going to press the Q uh, key on my computer keyboard. And if I drag this slider over, uh, and then I should have the two clear phrases. Deep in the ocean or out into space. It's not perfect. You can hear a bit of a jump. I'm going to show you how to deal with that in the next video.